today we are looking at the Laguar Step Through Strider Fat Tire E Bike. This bike comes to us from Laguar, spelled L E O G U A R. Right off the bat, you can see this is a very nice, sleek looking bike. I got the one in blue here, it looks really nice. Kind of a unique color, too. You don't get a lot of bikes that look like this. So let's go over the specs kind of go over what the bike is all about and we'll take it out, do some deliveries with it and see how it handles. The first thing we're looking at here are the tires. It uses 26 by four fat tires. These tires are from V Tire Company. So I think those are actually pretty good tires. One thing you'll notice, the bike does not come with fenders. So if you want fenders, you'll need to add some. Not a difficult thing to do, but just something to know. Brakes are hydraulic, front and rear disc brakes from Tektro. Pretty standard hydraulic disc brakes. They're good, they work well. It's a step-through frame as you can see. But they do this nice thing here where you kind of get this second step-through frame here. And this is really important because it gives you a spot to hold the bike if you need to lift it up, which is extremely helpful to have. And it gives you a spot so that you can lock the bike up because often when it's just a step-through frame with no like top tube on it, you don't really have a good spot to lock the bike because most U-locks are gonna be too thick to fit through the, the like bottom tube. So having this kind of secondary top tube that still makes it easy to step over the frame is amazing. Very well thought out to have that. The battery is integrated into the frame here. It's a removable battery. And one of the interesting things they do with the battery is for the key, it actually has what they call a patented dual key system. Basically you use one key and you have to turn it twice to make it pop out. So you turn it once and it'll drop out but it will still stay attached to the frame so it doesn't fall onto the ground if like you accidentally unlock it too quickly. And then when you turn it again then it pops out. So kind of an interesting thing to have that. It's one of the features they advertise. So this is another thing that they kind of are thinking about because it is true that when you have the frame underneath like this one problem is sometimes you can unhook it and then it'll just fall to the ground and you know batteries are so expensive so you don't want to break the battery so having that is nice so use a 750 watt rear hub motor it looks like it's branded by laguar so they have their own branded motor this is different than most of the other e-bikes which will use like a buffang motor or you know higher end bike will use boss motor um, the motor itself very powerful very strong I believe 85 meters of torque, so very good, powerful e-bike here. For a bike like this, this switching gears doesn't really matter too much because it has a throttle and it's a really powerful bike, so, but it does have eight gears there, so you can switch it up if you need to. Front of the bike has front suspension, helps to give a nice cushioned ride. It also has this light here, only a front headlight. There is no rear tail light, so if you want a light on the back, you're gonna need to add one. Shouldn't be a problem. For the seat, it's a Laguar branded seat. No cargo space on the back, but you will notice that there is a space here that could theoretically hold something. I don't believe Laguar sells any rack specifically for this bike, so you might have to look for something yourself, but I think you could definitely do it because there is a space here and space here to hook something up, so it could definitely go. Oh, and there's actually more spaces right here too. So there's plenty of space here. You probably could find one. You just have to get a fat tire cargo rack for this bike if you want to put a cargo rack on it. Moving on to the handlebars. You'll notice it uses a straight bar, which is very comfortable and excellent to use. For grips, it has their own uh, rubber grips that I like them a lot actually. Very comfortable, squishy grips. You've got a twist throttle and Twist throttles are a little bit less common, but I actually like them more than the typical thumb throttle. Just makes it a little easier for me to ride one-handed if I need to um, still, you know, throttle along. Over here, it does come with a small bell. It's a micro shift shifter. So use a Shimano derailleur micro shift shifter here. And I have micro shift on some other bikes and I think it's a totally, good brand. The display here is this color display that's pretty cool. It says Laguar on it. It's got five levels of pedal assist. At five is the fastest. 
And the way it works with the pedaling is that it will top out your speed on the pedaling based on what level pedal assist you are. So typically I'm on level three or level four, which maxes me out around, level three will max me out around 20 miles an hour, level four will put me about 24, and then level five, you could get to 28. One caveat to note is to get to 28 miles per hour on this bike, you do have to unlock it, and that does require actually emailing Laguar and asking them to unlock it for you. So basically I'll show you. If you hold this bottom button here, it brings you to this menu here. And if you go down to advanced, it'll ask you for this password. You have to email Laguar and ask them to send you the password and sign like a waiver basically saying that you understand what you're doing. So that's what I did and it did unlock the bike to 28 miles per hour. When it comes out of the box to you, it'll only go to 20. Having at 28 is a huge, huge bonus and makes it such a better bike. You don't need to unlock it. I do recommend it though, if you can. So that's how the unlocking process works. So that's the overall look at the Laguar Step Through Strider Fat Tire e-bike. Very cool looking bike, very comfortable bike. We're gonna take it out, do some Uber Eats and DoorDash deliveries with it, and talk a little bit more about this bike. All right, we got the train going on by us, that's cool. We got two deliveries right now. I'm not gonna do a ton of deliveries today because unfortunately I forgot my delivery bag. So I'm gonna hold it loose. It's hot today, so food should be fine. And I'm gonna just stick to short distances, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Our first order is right here, Lao Shishuan, Uber Eats. Hi, Hi uh, the Hungry Panda. Um, it should be ready in a few minutes. Okay. I think we are gonna cancel all these orders. That was a little bit of a bust. It's fine though, because today we're not really trying to make that much money doing deliveries. We're really just showing off the bike a bit first. So I think what we're gonna do is we've got a DoorDash order. We're gonna go pick that one up first. So initial ride impressions on this bike. This is a really good bike. Very smooth, good front suspension on it. You can see it can go up, no problem going up these, uh, going up on curbs and stuff there. In terms of speed here, out of the box, we'll only go up to 20 miles per hour, which I think is fine. But if you really want maximum power, it can go to 28 if it's unlocked. And I showed it in the beginning with how it works. Basically, you have to unlock it through the system but to do that, you gotta get the password from Laguar. They will send out if you ask them, but then you gotta like sign something, basically saying like, if anything happens, it's on you. Not a huge deal. A lot of bikes go 28, but I guess they do it for some liability reasons, which is fine. Hey, anyway, we're here. We're gonna pick up this order here from Tea House. Yeah, picking up for, uh, for Kevin. Kevin P. Kevin P, yep. Perfect, okay, thanks. And not a good day so far for deliveries. It's busy. Everywhere's busy. It's because the students are back in town, so the restaurants are packed right now, which did not bode well for my earning capabilities today. But yeah, so this is a fat tire bike setup, which is nice for doing deliveries and riding the city. There's no rack or anything with it, and I couldn't find a rack that like they sell that's for this bike. So you're gonna need a delivery backpack if you're gonna use this for food delivery. And then another thing is there's no fenders on this bike. So I put a little front fender here just to avoid some splashing if it's wet. You can get like fenders to put on here. It wouldn't be expensive. Some of these fat tire bikes don't come with fenders because they just wanna keep the bike lightweight. It has nice front suspension, so very good for city rising. When you combine that with the fat tires, the 26 by four fat tires, you get a really comfortable ride. So range on this bike, the advertised range on this bike is 60 miles, which seems about accurate. I've never had any issue with the range in my time riding it so far. The battery goes by percentage, so you can see what percent your battery's at. Traffic is absolutely insane here right now. This is why you do deliveries on a bike. Avoid all of that. And this bike definitely got some kick to it. I'm gonna talk more about the handlebars later, but use a twist throttle, which I like. And 
that throttle, you can see it kind of gives me a kick. I'm used to it, but if you aren't like super comfortable with the speed of it, it could be jarring to you. All right, anyway, we are here. Let's go get this one delivered. We now got Uber Eats delivery from Fumai. Just going across the river, so should be good. We're gonna go get this delivered quickly. So this Laguar is very zippy. It's got 85 Newton meters of torque, which is plenty of torque to get you going. So you can see here, pedal assist four, 24 miles per hour. On pedal assist five, I'm gonna probably get around 28. So the pedal assist level changes like the top speed when you're pedaling. So on pedal assist four, you're gonna go 24. Pedal assist five, you're gonna get about 28. Funny enough, it has six levels of pedal assist, but the six, if you go to six, it actually is the walking speed. So you can only, it'll put it down to like really, basically to no pedal assist at all. So it's really five pedal assist, plus a weird six pedal assist that gives you no speed. Uh, Chick-fil-A, that's a good one. Let's go do it. Look at this insane traffic here. This is why you use a bike. Yeah, use the hydraulic disc brakes too, which are good hydraulic disc brakes, I find. Hi, uh, pick up for Ray. Thank you. Okay, we got that order. Unfortunately, it's a meet at door order, which is gonna cost me some time unless they're ready for me, but we should be fine. It's just right across there. This Luguar fat tire strider e-bike uses hydraulic disc brakes. I feel that all e-bikes should use hydraulic disc brakes. So I'm glad they didn't skimp there. And look at the handlebars here. Everything is really nicely set up. The grips that comes with the stock grips, really nice. Kind of these squishy rubber grips, I like them. A lot of times the grips are kind of uncomfortable. I think these are pretty good ones. The right side has a twist throttle. Twist throttles, you don't see them as often actually on a lot of these bikes. I actually prefer the twist throttle. Uh, it just kind of makes it easier for me to ride one-handed when I need to. Especially since a lot, most of the twist throttles are always on the right side. And I tend to, when I need to hold it one-handed, I go with the right hand and I hold stuff with the left hand. So it makes a lot more sense for me. It uses micro shift, eight speed shifter. Micro shift, it's fine. Um, I've got other bikes with micro shift shifters too. Most are gonna use Shimano, but I don't have any issue with micro shift as a brand, I think they're totally fine. And then the display is pretty cool. Nice color display, gives you a lot of good information on it. And you just got the plus and minus to change the pedal assist. And then you got this bell right here. Just a completely regular bell, but does the job. And I added the um, quad lock, that's my own, to hold my phone on it. But yeah. Good straight handlebar, very comfortable to use. You could obviously swap out whatever handlebar you wanted if you didn't like it, but I think this is a pretty good handlebar. But yeah, so far as a delivery bike, I think this bike is really good because the fat tires, the speed, the power, the suspension on it, all this makes for a very comfortable delivery experience. Okay, it should be this one here. So Perfect, there you go, have a good one. Okay, we got that one delivered, and now we've got another DoorDash order from Chick-fil-A. Back on campus, we're gonna run over there and get it. Nice thing on a bike that goes 28 miles per hour is you can get there quickly. And yeah, pedal assist five, this bike flies. 28 easily. Yeah, in terms of who this bike is good for, I think this would be a great commuter bike. If you probably wanna try to put some sort of cargo rack on it. You would need a fat tire one, but it shouldn't be too hard. There's actually space on the back to even put a cargo rack, so that'd be good. So a commuter would be great with this bike. Food delivery, I think this bike would easily be worthwhile. A bike like this could pay for itself very fast, especially because it's not even that expensive. I don't believe it was too expensive of a bike. And it's got some good features too, like it's a step through frame, but then they have like a little top tube so you can still like hold the bike easily and lock the bike up easily. And that's like thinking right there because one of the downsides with a step through frame is there's no easy place to lock it and holding it can be a pain. So I really like that they did that. And right here you can see going straight on this straightaway here, 
I got I get 29 miles an hour. Oh, here we go, a little hill test here. And you can see, I mean, we're gonna throttle up it because I don't feel like pedaling. Makes it up in no problem. So yeah, with food delivery, you can definitely make your money back on this bike pretty quick. And you know, if you're in a city, urban area like this, using a bike makes so much sense. You'll just need to get a delivery bag. Like a delivery backpack is what I'd recommend for this bike and you'd be set. But yeah, this bike got a lot of power to it. Really sweet bike. So yeah, you know, I've been out of town for a while. So my buddy was actually riding this bike while I was gone. And he basically said this was his favorite bike of all the bikes we've got right now. And I can see now why he said that, because the bike's so fast and so powerful. Here we are at Chick-fil-A. Nice thing about the bike, I can pull right up to the window. Hey, uh, pick up for Megan. 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 Uh, and we'll do this one too. You can order for Megan? Yep, for Megan. Confirm pickup. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's go get this one delivered. Just going right around the corner here. Shouldn't be too far. Yeah, and while we were there, we ended up getting a triple order for Jimmy John's. Like, two of them are going to the same place, and then one's going, like, to a place a lot the way. So I decided I'm going to do it. Jimmy John's is always right on time. It's only paying, like, 10 bucks for three deliveries. It's not paying a lot, but it should be fine. Okay, good. And this DoorDash order is a leave-at-door order. Oh, it should be right over here. I'll hop up on the sidewalk here. You can see, hits those bumps, no problem. Okay, and they said leave it outside the door, which I can do if they're okay with that. Let's see if this door opens. It does not. Okay, I'll leave it right out here for them. We got that delivered. Let's go grab this triple order Uber Eats from Jimmy John's. And yeah, see, this is a big, bumpy, bumpy road here. And you know, it's still a little bumpy of a ride, but not too bad. And here we go, uphill, pretty steep hill. And we can see the Laguar Strider fat tire has no problem making it up here. And you'll notice too, there's no wheel wobble at all. You know, I go no-handed a lot and no wheel wobble, very sturdy. I mean, this bike just feels solidly built. I'm very happy with this bike. Yeah, one thing I will say to this bike is if you're not comfortable riding at high speeds, don't unlock it, just leave it. But I think it really changes up the feel of this bike when you can unlock it. Yeah, the nice thing too, with the step through frame, very easy to just kind of sit and chill. Okay, let's see. Can I get through this here? I'm gonna sneak through. Okay, here we go. Jimmy John's over here on the right. We're gonna be grabbing three orders. Yeah, I've got for Greta, Abby, and Maria. I got a whole bunch of orders. Oh, our driver's taking that. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, all right. No problem. No, no, it's okay. If you want it, you take. You can take it. No, go for it. Oh. Okay. I, I, I didn't even. Speed it up. Okay. Um, okay. It's Greta, Abby, and Maria. But I don't. I, yeah, I don't want to take. I don't want to take. I don't want to take your thing from you. It's cool. You sure? Oh. Okay, yeah, you sure? Well, we gotta unassign those. Um, I mean, I've just got them on no, here. Let me just check the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you sure that's okay? I don't want to like no, take I'm money out of your pocket here. or anything. I'm okay. <laughs> Maria oh, and Abby. Good timing. All right. Okay, good. Well, we got those three. I didn't know the Jimmy John's bikers had to like compete for these. <laughs> but I'm actually not quite sure how the Jimmy John's people get paid. I'm guessing they get paid by the hour and get tips. I guess for them, it doesn't really matter if they do the deliveries unless they want the tips. And these orders weren't paying well, which leads me to believe they didn't really tip. But anyway, we got these orders. We're gonna deliver them and then we'll probably call it. So yeah, this bike works out pretty well for riding no-handed. Like very stable and comfortable, which is helpful for what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm, this one is actually probably gonna be one of my main bikes when I look at it. It just, it rides so well. Okay, I think it's this one right here. Hi. I order for Greta. Yes. I yeah. might have another order for here yeah. too, right? I think, I think it's, yeah. it's uh, it was Abby, I think. Oh. Is that right? Oh, yes, that yes, right? yes, that's right. Okay, Thank you. I got both of them. Okay, yep, have a good one.
All right, good. Okay, this one's going right over there. Hi. This for uh, my roommate Maria. Oh, Maria, yes. Okay, so All right, much. have a good one. All right, good. And that order is delivered, so that's three orders there. We didn't end up making very much. I think we ended up making somewhere like 23 bucks or something. And we worked for like an hour, so it wasn't a huge amount. But I kind of had some bad luck, honestly. Like a lot of waiting, I ended up wasting time in some places. It's fine though, because you know, it's a nice day, we're just enjoying ourselves, you know, trying out the new bike. So the fact that I can still make a little money while riding a bike around is all right in my book. Anyway, so that is a look at the Laguar Strider step through. My overall thoughts on this bike, it's a very well-made bike. I think it's very powerful, very nicely designed, great top speed, lots of power, an excellent bike for commuting or for doing food delivery with, or just for riding around for fun if that's your thing. Everything here on this bike, it's, it's very well built. It's thought out well. I like it. I think it's a good bike. I think people should consider it. I have no problem recommending this bike for pretty much anyone. You know, the really only downsides with the bike is that it doesn't come with fenders, which isn't a deal breaker by any means. You could just add your own fenders to it if you wanted. And that's really it. I don't think there's any other downsides I can think of. Everything else is very well built, very well made. Well, from what I can tell, this bike has pretty good range. I mean, I've been riding around for a while now. I still have 60% battery. Anyway, so that's a look at the Laguar Strider step-through bike. I hope you enjoyed this review of this fantastic e-bike. Really like it. I can highly recommend it. Want to get this bike? I'll leave a link in the description. And if you like what you see, please leave a like. Follow for more content like this. And until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody. And you can see it works pretty well off-road, too.